hello everyone and welcome back. We're gonna have to force march to get back here? Why am I so slow? I could get all the way there last. Why am I got next to no movement? Right, anyway. Get back in there, because I don't trust these guys. It looks like they are getting funny ideas. And we've got an objective to finally wipe out the Knights of the Flame. This guy ranked up. He's already got his training, so we'll get him his indomitable will. Oh, that'll be good. Melee attack and weapon strength. That's just melee attack. So you're definitely going to get him both that tomb strike. I'll go in 23 self. Cause terror weapon damage. Nice. Over my dead body. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's quite good. So play armor. Desert strike. Scale steed. And eventually it's chariot. Enemy wind magic reserves. Oh, that's quite good. Maybe the chariot king. Loyal retainant. Oh, these are all quite good. Right, anyway. And let's get ourselves. Ah, oh, we can't recruit because we're in a force march. I thought we'd let us because we're in a settlement, but no. It's not to be. Two turns till that's done. I don't think there's anything we can do this turn unless we do the great incantation, but I'm not going to waste money on that at the moment. And I don't want to spend my canoptic jars on those guys just yet. So let's uh, in turn. See you in a second. And we're back. We've got another mission for a thousand treasure in canoptic jars. Ensure that one of the followings have been built a mausoleum. Okay. We had some growth. This mausoleum, one of these things. Crypts, Matsaba. Mausoleum, yeah, I thought so. It's a settlement building. And. Uh, Let's take here and upgrade it. Let's take this guy, take him off with that, and let's take a look at these. I think we should just destroy these guys, because the second I move out to come up here, I think they're going to try and raid me. Absolute power. So let's declare war. Confirm war has been declared. Away he runs, not surprising because I had the settlement's help and my army was stronger in the first place. Yeah, and as we can see, that's just a simple, simple, easy auto resolve, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're not gonna fight. Should we fight it? Yeah, I feel like fighting it. Let's fight it. Just a nice, simple, easy battle. Because I don't know when our next battle is going to be. So we'll have a wee bit of fun. Crack my neck. Oh, it feels good. Relax my muscles off. We've not seen the swordsman yet, I suppose, as well. So we'll get a chance to view the swordsman. Now we'll have to see wolfies. I suppose we can see if they look any different being desert wolfies. Have them out on the extreme flanks. We're not going to gamble. 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 Just start a deployment. Let's take a look at the swordsman. I'm guessing these guys are going to look identical to the other ones, except they've got swords. Pretty much. The shields look slightly different. Oh, I love the swords. What is it they're called again? Kapotesh? Kapatesh? Something like that, anyway. The Koptesh. So that's what the you see how they've got that slight bit then that's bit doing there that's how the tomb kings call their swords cop dishes or something it may just be the tomb king word for sword I don't know and it's not just because it's different slightly these guys they look slightly redder slightly see I think there's a slight different palette change color wise to them but Apart from that, we've seen them before. 
Uh, let's take my fast units that have deployment outside of zone and put them over here. We'll group them. And your job is going to be catching those archers and uh, just to destroy. I'm sure they've got a couple more units than that. They must just be hidden. Right, spearmen on the front. Uh, the shielded guys. You've all got good missile block chance on the front. Use towards the flank rear over here. We can bring you around on the flank. We've got those guys on that flank. Use two. We'll just group use together there. Archers. The front group. Let, let's uh, put use on guard mode as well. Start the battle. Oh, and they're going to come to me. How lovely. How nice of them. Let's move use there. Bring use over like so. If they're going to come to me. Missile block chancers out the front. Muse can go even in front of them, actually. Here comes their archers. Get a spirit leech on their leader ASAP. Gills are coming on over. Archers on their archers will be good for now. Use come on running down. Wolves, I want you to go straight into their archers. Archers, I want you to take now. Aim on the guards. Just come straight into there. Just come around here like so. You get right in there. In fact, both of you get right in there. Yeah, my skeletons aren't doing that great. I'll just cast this on the scorpion then. Ghouls are sweeping in on him. Right, they are running, using to the flank there. That on their leader again. Lure of death. Let's target them actually. They are routing. Just push yourselves over, you just chase him. Wills bring those spearmen back so my archers can get their mitts on them. Scorpion get right in there. Archers on them. On them. Yeah, these skeleton warriors aren't that great. We need some buffs for them. That's what we really need. Even against Dungors, they were losing there. The archers aren't bad, though. They seem to be quite good. They're racking up a lot of kills. And wow, these wolves got a lot of kills, too. These two both zero, the ghouls got not a lot of kills, right? Anyway. And we actually managed to get the healing done that time, right? End bow. Decisive victory. It wasn't as much of a cakewalk as I thought, because my front line nearly crumbled. But we did okay. At least we know we cannot rely on our basic skeletons to do much. Gonna need to get ourselves some tomb guards. They are good for missile block chance though, so they are quite good for that. Which we've seen the ghouls are absolutely terrible at. They drop like flies to the range, whereas these guys... <laughs> it was only once Melee was engaged that they did bad. <coughs> They got a really good missile block chance with the really big shields. Right. Victory is assured. A sacrifice to Nagash. I want the Canoptic Jars. Oh, the Armor of Fortune. Very nice. 
That's them wiped out. We're taking attrition there, so we do not want to be there. Is that a bridge there? I think that's a bridge there, so yeah, we're going to stay here so we can recruit. Let's see. Bats are almost useless. A couple of girls and I know you're a swordsman, I think. I am a Lucky for me, I don't think he's got access to many troops. It looks like it's just peasants, really. And peasants are even worse than my skeletons. Well, that's a given. Right. We have a ranking up for you, Mr. Arcani. So what do we want to get? Yeah, Spirit Leech, Extend Cash Range. It reduces the cost, won't it? Yeah, I think the two costs for Spirit Leech. But we definitely need another spell. Aspect of the Dread Knight, that's just going to upgrade it. Allow you to overcast it, so Blight. Doom and Darkness. I'm not big on any of these, really. Turn to Madness, Charge Bonus, Ancient Tide. Income from Sacking Settlements, Public Order. Some aspects. So next two guards can only spearmen. Yeah, that would be really good. Armor and then melee attack. That'd be really good. We really want to get that, but I need to get some spells first. Yeah, attacks only in his hex, area around, extended weapon damage and armor. Mm, yeah, soul blight. We'll get soul blight, a debuff. We might max out aspect of the dread knight. Boom, boom, boom. Max out spirit leech. Get evasion. Fate of Juna. Uh, direct damage, strong V's damage capacity, strong V's multiple capacity. Then, yeah, I think we want the Fate of Buna, Mac. Well, it's only one point. Sun of Xarsis, Mac. Power Drain, do it. Arcane Gone, do it. Then we want to start going down this stuff. And we definitely want Sun Scorched Bones maxed out. Oh, we're probably gonna want that. Oh, we're probably gonna want that. We probably ah, we want everything. Just everything. Give me all. Nine for the skeletal steed. Okay, good to know. All right, let's end turn time. I'll see you all in a second. Ah, oh, they want a piece, Tweety. Isn't it cute? Nah. We're well, that close to the end of the door now. I think we'll just leave it. Because it should only take a few seconds. And uh, yes. We'll march right on up. Yep, there we go. Job done. No turn. Right, give me my turn. Give me my turn. There we go. Oh, the choice of servants. Gift of money. Call upon a leech priest. Hero recruited wizard Caleb's palace. Leech priest. Your capacity increased for Lich Priests. Necrotech. Well, we've seen those that really good ability for the Necrotech thing. But we'd require one first. And we could colonize there straight away for level 3 settlement. That would be really nice. It'd save us a lot of money. But a Necrotech isn't really a great hero to have till towards the end. Lich Priest or Necrotech? 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 I suppose we don't have an army that really needs either, so we'll go for the Necrotech. The Boom! We've got some Canoptic Jars too. And does that not unlock this? Oh, we need to do an action with this guy. Where are my slaves? Right, uh, get up here More ASAP slaves. to join that army. Actually, no, I should have just moved them there to scout, and then he'd already been there if it was going to be him that was going to do it anyway. Oh, well, too little, too late. Right, you on rank two. You, can you reach that this turn? Over you go, Arkan. Over you go. No, you can't reach it this turn. We can't recruit because we're no longer in our territory. Okay. 
ultimate shrine. I think it's in turn time. I'll see you all in a second. And we're back. What can he do to the settlement actually? Damage the walls? It's gonna cost me from the same five? Yeah, just do that. Do this. Successful. We got some canoptic jars. Plus he ranked up, that's good. Why can I not perform this right now? I think we need to wait a turn, then we can do it. But anyway, as for here. Do you take me for a churl? I don't know, but yes. I don't know what that is. Right, he's managed to get himself a trebuchet from his backside. But even then, that should be really simple, easy auto-resolve. Yep. Occupy, take the Knoptic Jars. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Boom. Nice of the flame. Destroyed. Arcan's up a level. Let's get another point into Soul Blight. For you. Can't do that yet, but we'll get you Conqueror. Boom. Here, still building up. It's for there, can't do anything yet. That counts as mountain. That's a port of assault, iron, all very nice. That's only a two province settlement. We might go after these dwarves now. Oh, full stack of dwarves. Nope, no. We'll finish off these guys next. Announcing Battlefleet Gothic Thick of Mada 2, but the first one's not even that long out. Right. Our Necrotect over here. Restore. Replenishes hit points of combatants. Oh, that's very nice. Wrath of the Creator. Self restore. Generation 2 says ally, unable to construct. Unit is construct. Oh yeah, so you can only cast it on constructs. That's quite good. So you can heal your like tomb scorpion or whatever. That would be quite handy. Movement range for the army is in as well. Hmm. Inspiration of repair. Capture replenishment for all construct units. Unit capacity. Unit capacity at level ten for these things. Right, I'm glad we got this. Unit capacity. I'm glad I'm glad we got this guy. Right, we're gonna give him his increased mobility for the armies and for now. And get him maybe restore. Grants Canoptic Jars per turn. Actually, wait a minute. Eh? Give me that. Give me that. Canoptic Jars per turn. Lovely. I'm so glad we chose this guy. Do the other heroes have that option? Something charge per turn? Yes, we're going to need to get him that then. Does Arcan have that? Let's see, Knoptic Jars per turn? Nah, it's only heroes. Heroes providing Knoptic Jars per turn, and because they don't cost upkeep, you're going to always want to have your max number of heroes. So can we recruit heroes? Recruit heroes? No, we don't have any heroes. Lich Priest, we can see they've got Death, Light, Nekahara. I'm going to want a Nekahara Priest soon, because we don't have one in Shadows. Right, I think it's time to end turn again. Really liking this faction. Everything I discovered I'm really liking. See you all in a second. Right, welcome back everybody. We did get a Mac accidentally cut off. We did get our first this here. Move any character to the following region. Just over here. So we might move our Necrotect over there. And yeah, this right cannot be performed. The right will unlock after performing an action with a Necrotect hero. We've done it. Why is it not unlocking? We performed an action with our Necrotect. For the wisdom of Bawaya. more slaves. I need more. Mo 
Unless, is it you damage walls? We'll just we'll send them down here anyway to have a look. And then he can head over to the Arkans Black Tower, which was Arkans version of the Black Pyramid. He was trying to recreate something like his lord did. I definitely want a recruitment building. I probably should have built a recruitment building here instead of this. But actually, you know what? Hmm. Not getting much money from this. Let's pull this down. So we can build some more recruitment buildings. Scouting chariots. Ooh, I would like to get some chariots. I would like some more archers more first though. Alright, that's the raven. I better go let her in. I'll be pausing for a second. Hello everyone, we're back. Um, had to pause recording for a wee bit longer than I anticipated. Uh, make that 12 hours longer than I anticipated. So yes, I've ended turn because I didn't know what I was doing earlier. I don't think I had anything left to do. I know I'm... Oh, I'm not him, so I'm not Nagash. Okay. That's not very nice. Hashtag mini. Now a couple of them will be as well. And as for here... Build me... I've already got this. Open graves. So get me the... Oh, hex and graves. Get me the chariot one. And for here... Get me the swamp. Lovely. Lots more recruitment. Can this die do something other than damage the runes? Elven colony. Oh, lovely. Which means it uh, provides extra money from the docks. <coughs> oh, wait a minute. Our docks don't provide money. No! Damn it. Alright. Again, is there anything I need to do? I don't think so. We should get ready to go to war with these guys, but I'll wait for the recovery. Alright, let's end turn! For yourself, how more diverse troop types are now open to recruitment. Lovely! Oh, I have 250. Lots of money! Right. Get me the other two archers. Oh, I, oh, I've maxed out my recruitment. Have I? So what's that I'll have to do? So here we still can't use this. Let's see if him coming into here. No. We can't do that there, so it's not. He can colonize it. Maybe if he's in the army, or anyway, let's find that black thingy of a uh, Arkan, the Black Tower of Arkan. I'm guessing it'll be a very nice settlement for us to take. No settlement needs your help. Go away, many. Yes, Ravens there. Yep. Right, open graves, upgrading this will allow units of two Nekaharan warriors. Oh, I like the sound of that. Like naked hearted warriors? What are they? What? Uh, you're behind me so they can't really see you at the moment. They can see the TV and they can see the curtain. But you're directly behind me. Bop, 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 bop. It's only when I really turn around and stuff they can see you. Just nosy! Right, see you in a second. Hmm, it appears we have a wee dilemma. 40 canoptic jars or burial. We have made a great discovery. During the course of our excavation, remains of an army that once served Alakadzar, the conqueror, the last and maybe greatest of all priest kings of Nekahara, has been unearthed. It would take a little magic to rise them to our services. Should we do so, or give them a ritual burial in 
The classical Nekaharan style. So yes. Alcadazar. I was right, that is the guy I was talking about. Should we give them the burial? Leadership and replenishment of use the remains corrupted jars. Long ago, Alcazar fought to defeat the great evil from our lands. We should honour the loyalty of his troops by observing the correct funeral rites. We can be certain that the conqueror no longer requires his servants. At least, not in the mortal plane. Let us use the uh, desiccated bones to continue our quest for the worldly paradise. Well, that makes no sense that we'll do ritual burial now that I think of it. Because, eh. Uh, Alcazar fought against Ark in the Black. Because uh, we were fighting the Gash. We were fighting against this guy. So, we'd use them. That's just what our guy would do. Right, Tower. You're somewhere over here. I did that. Yeah, still just damage walls. Where are my slaves? Where are my slaves? Give me my slaves! Oh, public order here, not good. Hey, we got the chariots. Upgrading it. Hey. Unit capacity to escape on chariots, upgrading it. Unit capacity to escape on chariot arches. Lovely. Oh, we're nearly out of money. Public order here, not good too. We need a public order building. I think we'll get rid of the wolves and give the chariots, give them chariots when we get over here. That's for now. Like there's six, so we've still got some time. Here, plus fifteen. Yes. All right, let's intern. Oh wait, pause. And we're back. We unlocked the right. Is that the right? I was trying to do that whole time. Oh, that's that one. Okay, we were trying to do the Petra one. Yeah. And we have the money now to upgrade this here, which, we, well, we don't have the money, we have the surplus to do that here, which is what we really need. So let's, uh, boom, do that to the extra tax. It's actually the public order one. Public order plus five. We'll do that. That. Surplus five, public order. So that's really good. Now we got plus five. That'll mean we've only got a negative one problem. Well, that's oh, lovely. Lovely. Start heading on over. Right, where's Arkan's tower? Pool of Despair. I thought it was somewhere around here. Where is it? Right, let's just go to the... Uh, Ah, take it that's it there. Necrotect. There's little left of the city's past splendor. It's crumbling edifices, and if you are not but a desert wind. The agent scours the ruins and eventually locates the entrance to the Grand Tomb, with Alcazar's names barely legible over the Grand Archrave. In front of the tomb lie the body of the lizard men entangled with moldering remains. In the blood and nicker and sweat, the skirmish was recent, perhaps the battle still rages within. Should the agent enter the tomb and risk becoming combatants or remain circumspect and tarry on without a sign? Wait for a sign. Uh, wait for a sign. We got Mark of the Necromancer, 20 plus. Uh. The agent hovers at the entrance until the clamour dies down, then steals inside to witness a scene of devastation. Lizardman corpses litter the main chamber, but the crypt horrors have returned to their swaying, dissident state. Sensing some kinship with the agent, perhaps they do not attack, but point mournfully towards an alcove where clearly fine sarcophagus once lay. Alcazar's coffin has been spared away. Tearing a symbol from the tunic of the dead Lizardman, your agent sets out to bring Arkan the news. Arkan is beside himself with anger. What could the privileged liverman want with Alcazar's remains? He smells some species of dark scheme afoot. He smells some species of a dark uh, scheme afoot and demands that the lich priests bring him news of the interlopers through divine communion with the scavenger god Ulatap. 
Little tip, 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 tip. Reveals them to the Inquisition of Literary Zarka and waits no time to set out with his army to rest out the remains from the Lizardmen. Enemy force. Hmm. Well, we don't have time to do this at the moment. Uh, we'll get the Tomb Blade and the experience for Alcazar. Uh, Alcazar. Arca and the Black. That is an elite little unit army, though. Reinforcements are expected. Where is it on the map? Not too far away. But yeah, we're not going to do that yet. My master will return. My master will return. Right, let's end turn for now, and I'll see you in a second. We'll do one more turn, then we'll call it apart. Uh, they decided to declare war on me this turn, so that's relatively handy. And this place seems to be relatively undefended. You dishonor me. The army looks like it could be a pain, though. But we do have a rank up here. I have my oh, I want training level 2. I also want the canoptic jars. We'll get training this turn. Ow! Misclick. Training. And... Okay, and after that, we have this now. So we now get Skeleton Horsemen and Skeleton Horse Archers. Lovely! Two of each. Lovely jubbly. We fight. That is going to be painful. For the arch necromancer. We shall encircle them for now. Make them come to me, maybe a wee bit better. Make me a wee bit better off. Let's send our necrotect back home. And uh, I think we caught a part here. So yes, hope you've all enjoyed this. Join me all next time where we're going to have a pretty big battle over here. I'll see you all there. Bye-bye.